Hey, I'm Rich from Ken Island Online and QAC TV. We're here at Big Bats, one of the coolest places on Ken Island. We're going to talk to uh, Steve Garland, who's the owner, and see what's going on with Big Bats. Big Bats is celebrating their 19th year. So next year is the Big 2-0. And uh, this place is an institution. And how have you, what's your secret? What, how have you been going so long? I don't know if there's a secret. Uh, it's, it's in every career, you know, you just try to do your job right, do the best you can, and make sure you make your customers happy. You do. Food here is great. That's uh, one of the things I, I've been coming here for a long time. It's kid-friendly during the day. You've got that beautiful outside area that's a couple of years old. We're sitting in a part of Big Bats now that wasn't here when you started. Can you tell me how the building kind of progressed? Well, we started out in 1997. Uh, we had a bar that had about uh, 10 bar stools at the bar and about four tables in the bar area, and then we had a dining room. We uh, got very, we started out slow like every business. It took us a while to get going, but as we started to get going, we realized we needed a little bit more space. So on the outside of the building, we added like an L-shaped design and put a new bar out here. And uh, then we made the other bar into another dining room. So. Uh, well, I use the word bar loosely because we're not a bar. We're just a great place for the whole family. It's kid friendly. We don't. If mom and dad brings the kids and sit in a booth in a bar, they feel comfortable. And uh, of course, a little bit later tonight, that's not the best thing to do at any place. So, uh, you know, it's common sense there. Common sense always works. So uh, <laughs> that's true. We, you've got live music here at night on the weekends a lot, and uh, all kind of, you, you have a you had a punk rock show a little while ago, and you do really interesting things with Big Bats that maybe some of our viewers might not even know. But like, yeah, you've done a lot of just really cool things that always seem to work really well. Well, we try to reinvent ourselves a little bit every year. Uh, we always try to make some improvements, like the the booths in the bar right now are new. We just put them in last spring. Uh, this year we're planning on making the outside patio a lot more kid friendly. We're going to make a little bit more space. We're going to put like a parents area to sit mm -hmm. and have an apparent, uh, a place where the kids can play right where the parents area is. And uh, rumor has it you're an Orioles fan. Is that true? Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. As you can see, Big Bats, the colors here are the O's colors. Um, how about the Nationals? What's your take on the Nationals? Well, uh, very much a Nationals fan. I've been to about six games last year. You know, there's nothing better than having your local teams win. You know, it's good for the community. It's very uh, financially good for the community. So it's great to have the local teams win. Um, I had a little bit of grief because I had a few National fans around here and says, Steve, I'm walking around your place, and I'm not seeing a lot of national stuff. So if you go to every booth in the dining room, there's something nationals in there, and uh, and we're growing with that. You know, we're always trying to find new stuff like that. Right now, we're giving a Oreo autograph baseball away every week for the next six weeks. Right now, so to get the feeling for the baseball season starting. And segueing into that, on the walls here, I mean, this place is your your slogan was always uh, Cooperstown with good food. I mean. It really is. You've got baseball memorabilia all over the place, sign stuff. I mean, it's pretty. What's some of your most prized things that you have hanging up in Big Bats? Well, the biggest thing that's a little bit harder for me to comprehend to the new baseball fans is I have a little bit of age on me. So my big fans are Nolan Ryan and all these other guys, Ernie Banks and that. So you can see a lot of the older ball players and their autographs in here. And we're trying to bring new, more newer stuff. We have a room that's dedicated to the Orioles, mm -hmm. and we have nothing but Oriole memorabilia. So we have the Orioles, the, the, the four pitchers that won 20 games on the wall, all signatures there bringing the old Orioles, but we have Adam Jones and J.J. Hardy's and Chris Davis and Manny Machado stuff in there, too. And uh, I love baseball, and I try to present it as much as I can here. And I think that's one of the, the biggest draws about Big Bats is that it is what it is in such a good way. It's a baseball-themed bar. It's all about the local teams. You've also got a lot of really, like, Johnny United stuff hanging up and everything, like you said. But it is a baseball-themed bar. And there are sports bars in other places, that, and they're all kind of generic-looking. But nothing looks like Big Bats. Big Bats is what it is. And it's such a good thing, and it's such a, a staple now on Ken Island. And hats off to you for, for making such a great place. Like I said, you know, it, it just get up early, do your best job, you go home, and... Uh and get ready to come back. It's exciting to come to work. It's uh, exciting. We have some great employees here. Uh, we're always looking for more great employees. <laughs> we're, we're just like any team. You know, we got a lot of great hitters, but there's a couple spots in the lineup. We could use a better hitter, too. So uh, we're just trying to grow as much as we can. Um, 
we, we have a great menu. We have over 70 items on the menu. We do specials every week to kind of just tweak a little bit. Our new menu's coming out in, right around our anniversary date and try to add a few more things than that. So uh, we're trying, like I said, trying to keep everything fresh. The outside bar, everybody's excited to open it up now, but we're just getting a little tweak here. But it won't be long. We'll be outside. I was going to say, you're very involved with the Special Olympics. Um, you've done huge things around the, the polar bear plunge, and you've had tent parties, and it's just, um, you guys are just known for doing that sort of thing. And you've managed to do that without it really looking like you're doing it for business purposes. You could tell that it is truly a passion of yours. We really like to help the local community. We're very much willing to help with the fundraisers and things like that. We just feel that's a very important for us to be involved in the community. And we're very involved with the Maryland Special Olympics. So uh, that's one of our main people. That's true. Steve Garland from Big Bats, the owner. Thanks for joining me. Hey, thanks, Rich. It's great to have you. Hope to see you again soon. I have a feeling you will. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> For Queen Anne's County TV and Ken Island Online, I'm Rich Fisher. <laughs>